To remain updated with the latest business news, click on the bell icon. Uh, good evening. My pleasure to have Sopana Mitra here. Sopana is CEO of Watches and Wearables for Titan Company. Sopana, thank you very much for making it. Uh, and of course, being a part of this nice event here, we have a couple of questions to ask you. And right on top is the whole challenge in terms of being a woman today. If you can tell us a little bit about how the workplace has evolved, at least for a lady. So things have improved a lot. I've uh, joined the workforce uh, 30 years back in 1992, and I think a uh, lot has improved in terms of processes, in terms of policies, in terms of commitment of organizations towards women and making sure they progress. Uh, the culture has also improved. It still has uh, some way to go, but overall there is a be, been a lot of progress in terms of the inclusive culture. Would you like to speak a little bit about the gender bias in terms of what it is looking like today? How much has it changed? So gender bias is a very deep-rooted thing. It is part of being conditioned by society. It is uh, there's a lot of unconscious bias. So consciously, I think very few people will be biased, but many of the biases lie very deep uh, because we are all brought up in a patriarchal society. So gender bias actually exists for both men and women. And we, all of us need to work in removing it uh, to make sure that equal opportunities are given to women in terms of uh, roles, responsibilities, higher uh, uh, you know, positions uh, in organizations. And it's everybody's responsibility to uh, work towards it. So, Pala, the obvious question to ask you, therefore, you having been in the work for, workforce for three decades now, the inherent challenges that you possibly, not anymore, but what women need to ready themselves for in terms of being in the workforce today? I think the biggest uh, uh, factor is actually self-belief. Uh, self-doubt is the biggest enemy and women particularly have a big problem with self-doubt because of the societal unconscious biases. So, for women to really believe in themselves, that is the one switch that actually helps a lot. Certainly it helped for me and it, I'm sure it will help for a lot. I have to ask you a few questions on the company you work for. Uh, it's been, uh, was a quite a challenging time right in the middle of COVID. Please open up a little bit of the business in terms of what new business opportunities you're seeing and how much you've had to rework your strategy. So uh, COVID presented a very big challenge, but I, I'm very happy to say that we've all learned, we've become agile, we've learned how to cope with such uh, big uh, uh, disruptions and shocks and now the consumer demand is back and as a company we become uh, much more resilient uh, I think more focused on the customer much higher adoption of digital uh, much more data driven decisions and uh, the culture of innovation remains and has even been enhanced in the last two years would you like to open up a little bit in terms of the game plan for next for instance if I had to ask you what your business might look like the next four to five years would you like to open up a little bit on that, please? Business is certainly likely to go up a lot uh, because of the inherent consumer demand. We are a lifestyle company. It's a discretionary product. And uh, the kind of uh, growth we are seeing in India in different sectors, both urban, rural, rural, smaller towns, among the youth and millennials. So there are many, many opportunities where consumers are ready. We just, as companies and brands, have to go out there and access them and give them the right product at the right price. One final thing, has the concept of premium therefore attained a new meaning in India with the passage of time? Yes, premiumization is a very big uh, factor. It's a very big pillar on our business. Even in the last two years, we found premium products have done well. Premium customers actually never got impacted by COVID as much as middle and lower middle class customers did. And uh, there has been also a lot of uh, uh, constraints on how to spend money. If you can't travel, you can't travel abroad, you're not having big weddings, you're not having big functions. So people have channelized a lot of that uh, money towards uh, uh, you know, pro objects of beauty like jewelry, watches, etc. that our company sells. So, Prana, thank you very much for your time. Please enjoy the evening. Thank you. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.